Cade, what do you think about NBA 2K23 so far? I like it. I like the animations. What are the biggest differences? And yeah, I like the, the graphics too. I feel like the faces look a little more clear, look more realistic. So it's cool. I like the game so far. Since we talked to you last, you got scanned in NBA 2K22. Yeah. What has your life been like, and what is it like kind of seeing yourself in the video game every single day? Yeah, it's crazy. I've always tried to, like, dream of being in the game, but now whenever I see, like, a real face scan version of me, it's still surreal. So, um, it's been a lot. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. To look at our setting tonight, the picturesque city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Game four of the Eastern Conference semifinals set to go. Welcome fans to the postseason of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. Chris Middleton has been underrated for so long that now is he rated? Giannis Adentacumpo said, people don't know how much Chris has sacrificed for this team to be great. He could easily be a 25 point per game scorer in the league, but he just wants to win. He knows that by doing that, everything else is going to take care of itself. Kevin? Well, he's an all-star teammate. David, as you point out in that story, thank you. Take a look at the Hawks. It's shocking to see how quickly this series, Greg, has gotten away from them. I think they've had their eye on the conference finals a little too soon, but they've got so much talent. I don't see them going down quietly. And remember, two of the final three games of this series will be in their building. Good point. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. At the guard positions, Young and Herter. Okongwu is out there with John Collins. And for Milwaukee, they've got Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Ford in at the one. Here's Vassell. And here is Ford. It's hauled in by Trey Young. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Nice to the hoop. It's good. He makes Trae his Young. first shot of the game. A sneaky score in the lane. Young will give you a steady diet of floaters and off-balance shots that defenders just miss getting a piece of. Look at that! Oh! oh. oh. Good. Watch out! How about the flash by Anta Tacumpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Well, there's the pass to help. Back to Young. To the middle. And there's Collins on the assist by Young. Yeah, and that's two tough points from Collins. Willing to mix it up down low. Young against Ford. And to Dekumbo. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And to Dekumbo's got his second basket of the game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more on defense. It's not there. Here's Herter. No good on the shot. And Milwaukee will come the other way. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. Buries the long range jumper. And there's DiVincenzo with the quick trigger. And not give him any room defensively. He's got to eliminate his airspace. That one goes in. Well, I think this is the start they want it. Come out and put some points up early. Three or four so far. Ford on the wing, Giannis. That one off the back iron and out. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there. No one to be. That's his first personal foul. The Atlanta shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Shooting for Atlanta. Number 45. Along for two. First one falls. And so 
he makes both from the line. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Ford passes to Vissel. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Here's Hurt, defended by DiVincenzo. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need both to make it special. And they pulled it off just right. That pass into the paint, that is a work of art there. Dead on target. Pass to Herter. Back to Young. Six to shoot. The layup off target. The Bucks train. Inside. Here's Hansa Takumbo. Okangu grabs the board. Odds have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Young against four. Young, good. Young's got his third bucket of the night. And defensively, everyone wants to body up Young. And, and he expects that and has the body control to combat it. And the slam dunk by Hansa Takumbo. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there? It just gets to the rack really easy. You really don't want to allow him to get too comfortable, but even with stifling defense, he's going to still find a way to get it in the basket. Here's Collins. That's a miss. He's made one and missed one. For Milwaukee, they've gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. A shot by out of the Kumbo. Nobody around. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Down low. The kick out to Young. Outside Cullen. Young, right side. It's deflected. To the paint. Over to the wing. Four. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Giannis. Giannis with another miss. The Hawks leading. This is to Okonwu. And Okonwu slams it in. And that dunk reverberated throughout this entire building. It sure did. Up high and down hard on the windmill plant. Just know that's going to have a big effect on this team. I mean, their blood has to be pumping after that one, and the heart rate racing a little faster, too. And to Takumbo. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And I thought that was going to drop. Looked good from here. Young passed to go. Over four. Here's Okamu. And Okamu slams it in. Nothing soft about the putback there. And, and why chance it, right? Take oh. the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. So both teams making some changes here. Johnson against Middleton. Not going to go that time. Here's Atlanta. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Here's Matthews. Banked in off the glass. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Cooper against Anderson to the inside. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three second violation. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Atlanta leading by seven. Pass to Capella. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Down low. Here's Matthews, and Matthews throws it down. 
and, and creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Anderson passes to Garuba, and the turnover again by Milwaukee. They're excited about the win on Thursday. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good now. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. Cooper kicks to Johnson. Passes it to Capella. Five on the clock. Another shot, and it's blocked. They shoot again. It's good. Nice touch there from Birch. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. To end the run, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. All the officials are all over that one. First, clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. First one falls for. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Atlanta leading by nine. And the pass to Birch. Here's Cooper. He's covered by Anderson. Just five on the clock. Here's Cooper. A second chance effort. And it's Capella missing. To Garuba. Here's Middleton. The kick out to Anderson. A three pointer, no good. Here's Cooper. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Johnson, the pass to Cooper. Here's the lob to the hoop. And then Johnson with the jam. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. I'll tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Middleton can't get it to go. Here's Atlanta. They're on a 20 to 6 run. Back to Cabela. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. You know, I think he may have forced that pass when there was really no reason to. The Bucks making a switch here. Wara checked in. Jordan Wara. Bucks trailed by 11. Anderson passes to Nora. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Perch. Offensive rebound. Johnson for three. Nice hit again. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. And he gets it back. Milwaukee's gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Mora, that's good. And yeah, there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Here's Cooper. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Capella. That one a little long. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second.
second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? The Atlanta leading by seven. For the pass to Capella. Here's Cooper. Kicks it to Johnson. Pass to Matthews. Shot clock at six. Over Middleton. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. And for Milwaukee, their shooter has 35% to start the game. The kick out to Anderson. Passes to Vassell. From the arc. Oh, drew the foul. And almost hit the three-point bucket. And he'll go to the line to shoot three. Did a good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. Especially on the three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. He's good on the first of three. No good on the second free throw. is a guy who's a defensive anchor and takes quality shots and because of that he plays his role to perfection. Off on that one so he goes one for two at the line. Here's Ford. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Hawks lead by five. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee.
And as we know, the great ones make those around them better. Well, certainly the case with Giannis Antetokounmpo. Sometimes I'm more comfortable. Uh, it's because my teammates trust me. My team trusts me to make the right play. And, you know, lately, late uh, in the game, I'm just trying to make the right play. That can be a pass. Uh, that can be a shot. But that's my mindset down the stretch. Mm, not predetermined. He's reading the defense and then responding accordingly. Well, it, it starts with getting downhill. The, the defense has to build a wall to keep him away from the rim. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. And looking at what we've seen from the Hawks, what do you guys think? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan. sets things up for the rest of the game. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And so in the game for the Hawks. At the guard positions, Young and Herter. Johnson is out there with Okongwu. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressive. If they don't, things are just going to get worse for them. To the paint. Okongwu dishes to Young. He kicks to Okongwu. For Middleton, misses the hole and he's now three for four. Box trail by six. But with the ball, no points in the game yet for him. It's stolen. Fast break. The Hawks pulls up for three and he's good on the three ball. Agile play to get his hand in there and get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. And here is four. Pass to Middleton. Fades back. And again, the Bucks miss. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that goal streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. It's an 11-point Hawks lead. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle at their offensive end. Here's Middleton. That's short off the rim. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot, and the team is struggling because of it. Milwaukee has gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. Pass to Anderson. He dishes it to four. Passes it to Middleton. Here's Moore. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. His hard work on the backboard really just has hit them more opportunities to score. Now, Okongwu, six points for him. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. And some changes here for the Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Anderson. And a switch here also for Atlanta. John Collins, he's checked in for Johnson. Jordan Warren. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And a moment here to take a look at the score and breakdown for the Hawks. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. And he hits the first of three. Good on the second free throw.
and he makes all three. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Young against Ford. The offensive rebound and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. You know, gifted with what seems to be a limitless reach. The Greek freak can get to offensive rebounds that most others only think about getting to. Young outside. how they got him a wide open look in space there. Here's onto Takubo. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. The pass to Collins. The kick out to Young. Pulls it in. Bucks trail by eight. Here's the dish to four. To the middle. Hamu Kelishvili. Fade away. And another shot. Here's more. Over Collins. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. Here's Hurt. Started by four. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Nine points in the game so far. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something working keep working that's what i say keep the pressure on and still he scoreless point they could use just a little bit of help from him he takes it in and he gets the basket officials blowing the whistle so a chance at the line for one more personal foul the hawks have shot six or seven at the line the cell he's checked in for milwaukee one from the line here in the second quarter. Bucks trail by 13. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Ford. Rebounded by the Hawks. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. John Strong performances out and they've really been strong on the glass and their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd yeah you said the key word there balance i mean their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense coming off a big game his confidence couldn't be higher and coach knows it showing no signs of slowing or cooling down they're going to ride him as far as he can take him. cooper kicks to collins Outside Matthews. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up from the top of the key. No good on that one. The Bucks go the other way with it. Inside. Count it in the Atlanta lead. Yeah. Cut down now to just 11 in the bucket from Monte Kumbo. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have a lead. Cooper against Giannis. From down. Town. Matthews, no good. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Matthews against DiVincenzo. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Mr. Collins. Over four. 
with the rebound. Bucks trail by 11. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Good and nice assist from four. Ford's got his fourth assist in this one. Outside Matthews. The Hawks again can't hit. Milwaukee's gone four of eight tonight from three point land, shooting 50% of the three ball here. Here's Vassell, and he lays it straight in. Vassell's at seven points. And somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Atlanta calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Here's the teardrop. That's it. Giannis passes the four. Back to Anadokounmpo. Rebounded by the Hawks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Cooper. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Bucks trail by six. Pass to Garuba. Feeds it to four. Looking to get it going, and that one hits back iron. Atlanta's gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let them fly. Rebound, Atlanta. Birch has got six rebounds in the game. This is it to Cooper. The shot's good, and the Hawks lead by eight. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen. Cooper against four. Rebound by Johnson. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. To the middle. Here's Garuba. And the shot goes in. Garuba's got a second bucket tonight. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Bucks. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, they've gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. Here's Vassell. And another three for Milwaukee. And I like the way they're using the entire court here in the second quarter. The three-point percentage has gone through the roof. Down low. Burns the pass to Capella. And the rejection by Giannis. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Thirty-four seconds left to play in the first half. Just four to shoot. Here's Young. No good. The Bucks go the other way with it. The pass to Garuba. To the paint. Sixteen seconds left in the first half of basketball. Now here's Middleton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Drills the three-pointer. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Hawks on top.
They lead by a bucket. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Budenholzer. Mike, your evaluation of the first half. Well, I think both teams' defense is pretty good. You know, hopefully somebody can catch a rhythm here and score some points. Um, you know, hopefully we can be better there. And yeah, that'll be key as the game goes on, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Looking at the Hawks, although this series has gone about as poorly as possible for them, they're still hanging tough here tonight. No team likes to get swept, and maybe, just maybe, they can avoid that fate with a strong second half. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? It's been an aggressive approach for them at the offensive end. Getting the ball inside and getting as many points as possible close to the rim. So far, so good. They have a nice edge in the points in the paint. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. What impressed me the most was the effort they put into the offensive glass. Second chance points really added up for them. Fighting through box outs, battling for position, they own the offensive boards. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one, he's been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinal. They've got under Kumbo, and it's Ford in at the point guard position. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Now, here's Okonwu. He's tightly guarded. You can't hit that time. Milwaukee has gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Ford with the ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. For the tie, and Giannis with the basket on the assist by Ford. Ford's got five assists tonight. Vincenzo against Young. Collins in the post. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, Mid-first round draft pick, Collins continues to make the teams that passed on him regret that decision. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. And here is four. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Antetokounmpo. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. So impressive with the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course, and their attitude never changed. To the inside. And Okongu slams it in. Such an instinctual player. Young often sees the opportunity before anyone else. Pass to Vassell. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. The Hawks leading. Hawks 
passing it around. Herder passes to Young, and he comes up with the deuce. Young's got 12 points in the game. Every game, you expect Young to have some scoring bursts, but tonight, he has been on auto drive. And to the Kumbo inside. Working on Collins. A beautiful reverse layup. That's three of four here to start the half. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Off target with the open look. The Bucks have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. And he drives in. Atlanta with the rebound. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Collins kicks to Young. Pass to Herter. Clock at five. Collins in the post. Started by four. John Paul, you look at the defense, not nearly the hustle or energy at that end of the floor. Time out, time it's the out. exact Ball. opposite of what it was in the first half. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. LeBron is making a switch here. Jordan Morov. Here's Ford. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal. The Bucks shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. At the line for the Bucks. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. A two-point game. Lobbed up there for Collins. An emphatic LU jam. Uh, I'm sure his teammates love having a guy like Collins on the receiving end of those alley-oops. As fun an assist as you'll get. They get a hand on it. Ford. Six on the shot clock. The pass to Young. There's the triple. Good on the three-point shot. And it's a seven-point Hawks lead. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Pass to DiVincenzo. Kicks to four. He gets it in there. He's got eight. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the win. Young against four. Young, no good. Bucks have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Here's Nora. The shot, no good. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. Pass to Okonwu. Dishes it to Young. Young against Ford. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Now 
Yeah, and the Bucks making a change here. Anderson's checked in. And the Hawks making a change here. Cooper against Anderson. Cooper the pass to come. And finished off by Collins. Oh, oh, nice to see a power forward like Collins throw it down. We know he can hit a three, but go with the easy hoop. Cooper against Anderson. Passes it to Nora. Four on the clock. Anderson's shot is off. The Hawks leading by five. Now the pass to Cooper. Here's Hurt. Defended by DiVincenzo. There's the three. Atlanta gets it back. Capella nails the baby hook. Capella's got five. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Great communication on the alley -oop. There's the unselfishness you like to see in the guard. DiVincenzo keeping his eyes up and his options open. The Hawks have gone 7 of 11. A lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Johnson outside. The feed to Capella. Can't hit that one. The Bucks go the other way with it. To the paint. On the wing, DiVincenzo. To the wing, right side. To the middle. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off of the six. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Atlanta. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. I've been impressed with how well they've penetrated tonight, too. The throw drops for DiVincenzo. Boy, the upside DiVincenzo has is obvious. I mean, now it's up to him to continue working on his game and keep getting better. Cooper against Anderson. Back to Johnson. And he uses the glass on the way. And the Hawks lead by four. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Anderson outside. Shot clock at six. Pass to Garuba. Over Birch. Milwaukee. No good that time either. Yeah, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in the close game. Cooper against Anderson. Here's Cooper. And Garuba pulls it down. Garuba's got five rebounds tonight. Here's DiVincenzo. Offensive rebound. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. Here's Johnson. And Garuba pulls it down. Garuba's got six rebounds in the game. And it's Middleton penetrating, and he finishes nicely on the way. Middleton's got his second basket of the night. It's really easy to admire and respect the explosiveness of Middleton. I mean, if you give this guy a lane to the basket, uh, he'll take full advantage of him right away. That was just a perfect possession, getting it in tight for the high percentage shot. Hats have gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Pass to Birch. From 12 feet out, and the shot no good, a bit short. Yeah, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Amu Kalashvili, and that won't go, missing the go ahead bucket. Atlanta's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Here's Cooper. He kicks it to Capella. This is it to Cooper. 
Five to shoot. Back to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. No defense going to stop that throw down by Capella right there. Milwaukee's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the time second out, half. Out. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Antetokounmpo's checked in for the Bucks. Vassell yes. comes in for Anderson. Devin Vassell. There's a minute 47 left to play in the third. Garuba the pass to Vassell. Middleton up top. Rebounded by the Hawks. Capella's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Johnson. He's guarded closely. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. For Atlanta, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Jalen Johnson. Two shots. That one falls for Johnson. And both free throws good for Johnson. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. That's taking care of business, fellas. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That's foul number two for him. Second team. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. One fifteen left in the third. Cooper kicks to Capella. The pass to Cooper. Six to shoot. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Herder, no good. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Pass to Vassell. We've got 33 seconds left in the third. Good D by Johnson. Lob pass to Capella. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. He lobs it up, and he lays in the alley -oop. Fantastic ball movement that time. Ante Pacumpo skilled at taking apart a part of defense with his passing. Even Genzo against Cooper. And it's blocked. Now here's Ante Pacumpo. No good. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Hawks lead by two. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Fourth quarter on the court for the Hawks. The pairing up front, Okungwu and Capella. At the guard positions, Young and Herter. And no good had a chance to take the lead there. The Hawks leading. Down low. 
It's good. Nice touch there from Okongwu. The assist. Okongwu's now got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Atlanta. Inside. Here's Ford. Good. And the assist goes to Giannis. You know, this is one of the reasons why Giannis's teammates appreciate him because when they're open, he finds it. Here's Hurt. Kicks to Capella. Back to Herter. Young against four. Shoots. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Just great anticipation by Young. He just sees the play developing, knows exactly where he wants to go with the ball. And they double up Giannis. Pass to Vassell. Plays it up off the glass. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Connects from three-point range. And the Hawks lead by five. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Here's Garuba. Capella covering. Here's Ford. Rebound by the Hawks. Capella's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Pass it to Herter. Here's the three. Another three for Atlanta. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Middleton outside. He kicks it to four. Loads it up for Giannis. Throws down the alley and slam. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known as the Greek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chants. Young outside. Got a piece of it. Here's Garuba, defended by Young. Garuba's shot is off. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Just five to shoot. And the pass to Young. From deep three-point range. Rebound Giannis into Kumbo. Bucks trail by six. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. On the wing, Giannis. And they double up on it to Kumbo. Four. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So Atlanta will take it the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Hurt. Capella bounce pass. To Young. Lob pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. He's a high percentage scorer for a reason now. Capella, an alley oop specialist. Onto DeCumbo looking over the floor. Middleton for three. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's. He dishes it to Young. There's the drive. That's a basket. Is eighth from the field. Eight of 14. Carving through the defense with ease. I love watching Young slam on the Jets. Hit knife inside. Here's Garuba. Capella covering. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the box. Usman Garuba at the line for two. And he can't get the first one. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Collins checked in for Atlanta.
No good at the stripe this time. The second miss is also. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this coach. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Here's Middleton, and he banks in the lane. That's just what we call man-up strength from Middleton. I mean, taking the hit and then kind of effortlessly knocking down the shot as well. Back to Young. Fires the three. That shot, no good. Bucks trail by 10. Pass to four. Looking to get back on track here. Collins with some nice D. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Giving up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Okongwu's oh, shot is good. And the Hawks lead by 12. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Middleton outside. Here's Vassell. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing you can find his teammates too. Knocks it loose. Ford with the steal. Rebounded by the Hawks. Okongwu's now got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this bad. The Bucks have gone five of twelve from the field, entering the fourth quarter. Here's Ford, and a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. The kick out to Young. The Hawks again can't hit. Bucks trail by 10. Ford with the ball. Okongwu covering. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. Giannis Antetokounmpo has checked in for the Bucks. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Devin Vassell. DiVincenzo. Atlanta leading by 10. Right wing. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Middleton with it. The dish to Giannis. Middleton looking it over. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. No good with the triple. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Driving inside. And that one is hammered home. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. But you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. You got to be mindful of that. 16 feet away. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Giannis has got four points now in the quarter. There are nights that Antetokounmpo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under. And now, let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Trey Young. And he's had a very good night shooting the basketball. A little over 50% from the field and a lot of those shots have come against some tight D. That shows the level of his focus and consistency. The odds were not in his favor tonight on the road in a must win game but he came in here and carried them with a stellar performance. On the sideline let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey guys well the Hawks coach had some words for his team during the last time out. He said keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Thanks, David. Passes it to Giannis. Kicks it to four. Shoots the three. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Antetokounmpo's got assist number five here tonight. Ford against Young. The pass to Herter. Back to Young. Find the shoot. Takes a three. 
Rebound, Milwaukee. And it's still a close game, I mean, despite the fact that they've struggled to compete on the board. Yeah, you know, but down the stretch here, guys, they'll summon that extra effort to try and get it done, I think. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Pass to Herder. Young in the corner. Puts it up. Off the left rim and out. Bucks trail by seven. Hanta Takumbo dishes the four. To the inside. On his left side. And the double up on Takumbo. Shoots. Four. No luck. Land has gone two of five on three point shots since the end of the third quarter. And Okungu slams it in. And how sweet a play was oh, that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley oop dunk. Yeah, as I tell you, there are assists and then there are delicious dimes. This was the last one. Clint Cabela, he's checked in for Okungu. There's a minute 47 left to play in the final quarter. Donis kicks to four. And Clint Capella is going to pick up a foul. That'll be his third foul so far. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. The defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Four. And a great assist by Adekumbo as that one goes in. Did the Kumbos got his seventh assist in the game? Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're leading by six. 133 left in the game. Young inside. Guarded by four. A nice shot by Young. Oh, crafty move there by Young, finessing his way around the contact with the ball and Young picks him up defensively. Here's Giannis and the rejection by Collins. Offensive rebound. Now here is four. He's covered closely. Here he goes. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. He drops the first one, and that narrows the gap to seven. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. He needed to convert on all of those. Missed opportunities at the line are the last thing they need right now. Young against Middleton. Shots good from Young. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Yes, Divincenzo. What a gamer. Somebody who lives for these kind of big moments. Watch out. Divincenzo. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And the Hawks lead by nine. Collins against Antetokounmpo. It's stolen by Capella. Lob pass to Capella. It's stolen by Antetokounmpo. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Rise and fire. Even Tenzo does not lack confidence going right up oh, with the shot. Foul. And he commits the intentional and foul. Vincenzo. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. 
Shooting for Atlanta. Kevin Herter at the line for two. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good, and both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're trailing by eight. Eight seconds left in the fourth. Coming out of the floor for the Hawks. Eight seconds left to play here in the fourth. Pass to Brissette. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And so the Hawks take the win. Backs against the wall, Greg, but they showed us tonight they are not done yet. You can just never count this group out. I mean, unlikely to see a full comeback, but we've seen it before. We have. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thank you very much, guys. Trey, what does a win like this mean in terms of where this team is heading? I think we're heading in the right direction. Uh, I'm super excited about the future here in Atlanta, the future in this team, and I mean, we're heading in the right direction. Certainly looks like it, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference Playoffs. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. See you next time.